And being a good Christian calls for being tough. Anybody who does anything in this world that's of worth and of value is a tough person. You have to because the status quo never wants to let go. People don't like it when you change for the better. Because they know they're not about to do it and they don't want to be left alone. Misery loves company. Tell somebody, not here, not me, not today, I'm going somewhere. Yeah, and if you're going somewhere, you got to be tough. You got to be tough. You got to be able to take negative feedback. You got to be able to take critical feedback. You got to be able to take people mean mugging you, talking about you, disrespecting you, even disregarding you. You got to be tough and say, the devil is a liar. I'm going somewhere and I'm going to get there because I'm tough. I'm tough. I, you know, I have learned this in later, later times. I cannot tell you all the, the times early on about the little things that you should just, you should just <laughs> pierce me through to the heart. No, they didn't say that. But they said they were coming. They responded to the message. Everybody was shouting hallelujah, but they did the same thing right afterwards. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's interesting how people can say hallelujah one minute. And, and to hell with you the next. Amen. <laughs> oh, you may as well clap big better than that. Because yeah. now, look. Now, now I done gotten a little tougher. <laughs> now, I, now I know Negroes. And most of, too many of us just want to feel good. We don't want to be good. Just come from my high of the week. I'm going to go back doing the same thing I've been doing. And I can remember sweating and crying and, and talking to God about, you know how long and how hard I worked on that sermon. I'd be like, I would lose sleep. Well, my wife would tell you about how much sleep I lose preparing these sermon lessons so that it comes across to you like I'm just talking off the top of my head. This is not off the top of my head. This is off the sweat of my behind. Hard as, as hard as I've worked to get this stuff across, this is not off the top of my head. I've been praying and fasting and reading and praying and fasting and reading and praying and fasting and reading and praying and fasting. And praying and fasting. You gotta be tough. To be a Christian. Yeah. Many of you know. Many of you know. Many of you know. I've had the good fortune of, to work with some of the professional athletes. Uh, you know, the New York Giants and the Denver Broncos, and I've had a number of sessions with them. And one of the things that comes out loud and clear from, in conversations with all of them is that the best, they tell you this, they say, they say uh, Brother Luke, they say, the, the, the ones who are the best and the ones who do the best, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, they make it seem so effortless. <laughs> and it looks like they But then when you see the life story of those who are the best, and even the, the athletes will tell you themselves, when you, when you read about and you, their life story and, the, and, you, and you talk to the athletes who are currently 
playing or practicing with them. The best are those who come before everybody else comes. And they're there with everybody else. And then when everybody leaves, they're still there. It's, so there's no, there's no mystery. And they'll tell you, there's no mystery to being great. You got to work at that stuff. You got to be tough enough to not only do what you prescribe to do, be at the practice session that may be two hours, three hours, whatever long, but you, if you really want to ex excel and be great, you got to come before, be there when, and be there after. And so that, so that Christians who think that an hour and a half on Sunday is going to make you tough. Y'all give me an amen right here. Give me an amen. Yeah. I'm not going to get too many out here, see? Because too many of us think that if I just get to church on Sunday and for two hours, then I can be a tough Christian. No, you can't. That's why so much trouble is raining down in your life and you feel like you can't handle it because you're not tough enough. And God said in the word, I will not allow too much to come on you that you cannot bear. What I allow to come on you, I'll give you a route of escape. Mm. Amen. Come on, say, I'm tough, I'm tough, I'm tough. See, we got to be tougher than where we are. Because that's what success in life calls for. No champion who is not tough gets to be a champion. If you are not tough, you will not be a champion. I don't care what it is you do. You can be an accountant. You can be a basketball player. You can be an actor, an actress. You can be an auto mechanic. A doctor, it doesn't matter. If you're not tough and stay with something, even while people are telling you, you know what? It don't take all that. Because there are always peers, you always have peers who are satisfied with average. Yes. See? Yes. Yes. And average is the enemy of excellence. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Find somebody to tell them you're not looking at average here, you're looking at excellence. You're looking at excellence. Come on. Yeah, you're looking at excellence. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be tough to be excellent. You know, and if we were to, if we were to, if we were to chronicle and if we were to place in a pot and to chronicle all of what has gone on, even in the lives of the people here in this, in this sanctuary, I believe we'd find some toughness. I do. I do. Some of you I know, and some of you I know about your experiences, and many of you, many of you I do not, but, but the fact of the matter is, I know, I am convinced that there's a lot of toughness in here. People have had to put up with some stuff that other people couldn't handle. Amen. In fact, that's why, that's why, that's why the, the most of us, that's why most of us are here right now. Because you're tough. Because as quiet as it's kept, the devil, will work, the devil was working this morning just to keep you from getting here today. Amen. Oh, come on now. You know it's true. You know it's true. This is one of the things that I've been learning. It's one of the things I've been learning as I've been greeting people. You know, I've heard several people have, uh, over these past many Sundays, have said, Pastor, you don't, know, you don't know what I had to go through to get here this morning. And I'm saying, it's five minutes to eight. And they had already been through stuff just to get here to church. And only God knows what you have had to come through to get here. So it requires some level of toughness just to be here.